Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. What's this? The silent treatment? That's the sort of behavior I would expect out of a little child, not a young woman. You're embarrassing yourself. First myth of today's episode is... Jay, if you do everything bad and blame delinquents, they will get expelled. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to steal from the big booty nurse. Well, it's not even a big booty. It's a pancake booty, but she is going to send us to the guidance counselor right now. And we never really blame the delinquents on stealing a syringe and the other stuff. So let's see what the counselor has to say about that. It should be obvious why you're here. I've been informed that you attempted to steal something that didn't belong to you. Can you explain this? Yes, the delinquents, they forced me to steal it! If I can give myself a reputation as a delinquent, the other delinquents might see me as one of their own. And then, they won't give me any trouble. That's my plan. Is that really the cause of all this? <sighs> Well, I suppose I understand where you're coming from. I almost feel partially responsible. I can see now what the true source of this problem is. I'll take responsibility for it this time, but you mustn't do this again in the future. Understood? You're yes, my lord. Leave. Okay, so that's one thing down. The next thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna laugh maniacally. We're just gonna go <laughs> But anyway, we are gonna blame the delinquents again. And that's the next step to getting them expelled. Blood on my uniform, stole things, I carried a weapon around, and I laughed maniacally. What's the other one? Oh, I gotta look psycho. So let's decrease my sanity. There you go. Oh yeah, I'm looking super, super creepy. And let's go get caught one more time. Actually, wait, I gotta forgive my sins, and then I gotta go crazy. Because if they notice the blood, then they're only gonna notice that and not me looking super crazy. I'm not surprised to see you again. You've become a troublesome student. You've repeatedly caused disruptions at school and frightened the people around you. What drives you to do these things? Okay, this time this should be the last thing that I blame the delinquents on. I'm afraid of the delinquents. I'm trying to get a reputation as a dangerous person so that they'll leave me alone. What do you take me for? Wait, what? Do you think I don't see what's going on here? Oh, damn it. What else am I supposed to do? Wait a minute. I know what to do, guys. I can't show this in the video, but all I gotta say about it is pervert mode activated. I saw that! You disgusting pervert! <laughs> How could you do such a thing? I'm taking you to the counselor immediately. Midori is just shook right now about what I've done. Holy mother of God, I'm a pervert. I'm not surprised to see you again. You've become a troublesome student. All right, You've this is the last thing that I can think of, guys. Unmentionables. Start talking. The delinquents forced me to aim my camera at very suspicious places. I swear to Buddha. I'm intentionally trying to give myself a bad reputation. If the delinquents think I'm a dangerous freak, they might stay away from me. Oh, they know that I'm but a freak. That's such twisted I'm a nasty logic. freak. I'm a freak in the sheets, you feel me? It makes me sad to hear that you feel driven to such extremes. It makes me feel sick to think that such behavior might have been the result of decisions that I've made. Promise me that you won't do this again. You're free to leave. What the hell? You're not going to expel them? What else haven't I done? I was taking very risque pictures, and you still didn't expel them? Come on, girl! Wait a minute, guys. I remember what to do. After 8.30, the senseis get really mad when you're in a classroom that you're not supposed to be in. So it's 8.30 right now. We're just gonna stand right in front of her, and let's see what she has to say lost? about that. Are you lost? Do you have, do you a, have reason a reason to, to be, here? be here? No. Send me to the guidance counselor. Let me blame the delinquents. I'm intruding. I'm being disruptive in class. Send me to the guidance counselor right I'm now or else. sorry, but you can't be here. I have to ask you to leave. I have to ask you to shut up and send me to the guidance we counselor. You clearly don't have any business here. You need to go someplace else now. Yeah, right. What are you going to do about it? You going to send me to the guidance counselor? Do it. Do it. Do it, pussy. There you go. This type of conduct will not be tolerated. You're going to the guidance counselor's office right away. I'm not surprised to see you again. You've become a troublesome student. 
You went somewhere you didn't belong and wouldn't leave when you were asked to. What's the story? The delinquents. It's always the delinquents. Whenever I see the delinquents, I want to run and hide somewhere safe. Even if it means going someplace where I'm not supposed to be. No. Is that really how you feel? I suppose I can't really blame you for feeling that way. How unfortunate. <sighs> I hate to admit this, but in light of everything that's happened, clearly the right course of action is to expel the delinquents. Yes! I'm sorry that my stubborn that's desire to rehabilitate about. them has caused you so much grief. Let's go! They won't be troubling you anymore. You're free to go. Alright guys, so if you do everything bad in the school, if you become bad Chan and blame the delinquents on everything, they will get expelled from school. Thank you for showing me that. On to the next one! Jay, read some manga at Ayane's house. That should get your flirting to a higher level. Get in trouble and then try to flirt. Will it work? I don't think that's gonna work, guys. I don't think that's how flirting works. Usually you either have it in you to flirt or you don't. I don't think reading a manga is gonna help out Yanchan in this case. But you know what? We just gotta try to make sure. So I don't even have all the manga. What the hell? So I haven't gotten the manga in a damn long time in this game, but I think all of them are on the roof. Nope. I think it used to be on the roof, but once this little maze thing was created, I think that all the manga's here. It's been so damn long, guys. I'm pretty sure that one's right here. Let me see. Come on, give me some manga. Give me some manga. There you go, you filthy animals. Oh my god, this is so confusing. What in the world is going on here? I don't even know up from down, left from right, my balls from my grandpa's tits. I feel like that's a stress-relieving word, manga. Just say it slow. Just say it right now, guys. Manga. And I know people in the comments right now are going to be like, Jay, what are you even talking about? Are you just saying things out of your ass right now? You're damn right I am. Okay, I think I have all five mangas, so let's go back to our house, read it, and let's see if we can get our seduction level so high that even the counselor is like, you know what? Maybe me and Yanchan have something going here. 10% less sanity loss when committing murder. That's not it. 10% less sanity loss when committing murder. What are you talking about? Wait, that's the wrong manga. Bruh. All right, here we go, guys. My seduction is back at level zero, so let's read through this manga and let's try to make this work. A story about a young woman who learns the art of charming men, and the bonus is when complimenting male students. If you stay up late reading manga, you will arrive at school one hour late tomorrow. Are you sure you want to do this? Can I read the other ones? Like, can I read this one? It says, a story about a young woman who learns the art of charming, seducing, manipulating, and controlling other females. And I think this is the one that can apply to the guidance counselor. It says, all of the previous effects will apply to female students as well. The guidance counselor isn't a female student, but all these other books only apply to male students. And this is the only one that I think that can apply to the guidance counselor, but I can't read it unless I read all the other manga. So let's read this one first, and then let's work our way up. Okay, now it's time to read the second manga. A story about a young woman who learns the art of seducing men, and bonus when gossiping with male students. So let's read this one too. The third manga is a story about a young woman who learns the art of manipulating men. Less reputation loss from male students. Let's read that one. And the next one is a story about a young woman who learns the art of controlling men. Male students will perform favors for you even without being friends with you. Okay, read that one. And the last one is a story about a young woman who learns the art of charming, seducing, manipulating, and controlling other females. All of the previous effects will apply to female students as well. This is the one that I think could work with the guidance counselor because it says it attributes to female students as well she's not a female student so i don't think this is gonna work but we're gonna try it. it should be obvious why you're here i'm told that you've been exhibiting some disturbing behavior what's wrong it's because i have level five seduction and i want to use it on you baby i got myself in trouble because i wanted to be sent to your office to be honest I can't stop thinking about you. I think the two of us could make sweet music together. Fight! Oh, the... Not only is it completely inappropriate to say things like that, it could also get you expelled from school. Alright guys, well you saw it with your own eyes. I maxed out my seduction by reading all five of the mangas. It did not work. I don't even think you can say anything to her that'll make it work, so that is officially debunked! On to the next one! Dismissed. If you're bloody and insane and the teacher sees you, will you be sent to the guidance counselor because of the blood or because you're crazy? Okay, I tried this on accident in a previous Yandere Simulator episode. I had like blood and a knife on me. And then the game seemed to bug out because she didn't say anything at all. So we are going to keep lowering our sanity and then we are going to get bloody. And you know what we should do? We should have a knife too. 
We should be insane, have a knife, and be bloody. But you know what? Before we do anything, I'm just going to do what you're asking me. I'm going to be crazy, and I'm going to have blood on me. And let's see which one she notices first. And I think all this depends on what the teacher says to me. If she says, like, hey, what are you doing with all that blood on you? Or, hey, why are you acting so freaking crazy? Then that that's what the guidance counselor is, is going to say. Okay, she said the kind of behavior is unacceptable. The guidance so the guidance counselor is, is going to talk to me about how crazy I am. Let's see. It should be obvious why you're here. Would you care to explain why you're covered in blood? Wait, what? Wait, she mentioned why I'm covered in blood, but the teachers were talking about my behavior, so we're gonna lie. Hold on, let me try something out. Let me have the, the knife, car. and I'll have blood, and I'll be insane. Animal. Okay, that actually was different than what I was expecting. This time, we are gonna lower our sanity very low. Very, very low. So the guidance counselor is gonna notice that first. Is that very low? That's kinda low. That's not the lowest it can go. Yeah, I think this is the craziest I can get. Okay, so we're also gonna get the knife. And then we're also going to cover ourselves in blood. But that's weird because the teacher said, what is that kind of behavior? And then the guidance counselor said, why are you covered in blood? So let's see what happens when I have three things going on at once. Here we go. Got the knife out, got a bloody uniform, and I'm crazy as hell. That kind of behavior is completely unacceptable. I believe that a trip to the guidance counselor is in order. I'm disappointed to see you back in my office. You were spotted carrying something very dangerous around school. What were you thinking? Okay, this time she noticed the knife first. So I was crazy, had the blood and a knife, and then she noticed the knife first. Okay, guys, we're gonna try one more thing. This time, I'm crazy, I have blood on my uniform, I have a knife, and I'm gonna go into the wrong classroom. So let's see which one I get in trouble for. That kind of behavior is completely I always get in trouble for the I behavior! The Notice something else, you blind ass! And look at this guy, he's like, oh my god, drama, I love it. I'm not surprised to see you again. You've become a troublesome student. After our last conversation, I thought I made it clear not to walk around with anything that could be used as a weapon. Okay, so she noticed the weapon again. This time, I am just gonna, who cares, I'm just gonna flirt. So I think that she's gonna notice, like, physical things that I have on me, like a bloody uniform or a knife in my hands, as opposed to, like, me looking crazy. So hopefully that answers your question. On to the next one! What happens when you make the delinquents stop carrying weapons to school, and then try to pick a fight with them afterwards? Do the weapons magically appear, or are they holding nothing? All right, so we are gonna blame the delinquents for us carrying around a weapon at school. I feel nervous with the delinquents at school. I feel like I need to carry a weapon so I can defend myself if they try to attack me. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that. I know they can be intimidating, but that's really no excuse to carry around a weapon at school. I feel as though it's my fault for creating an environment where you feel unsafe unless you're carrying a weapon. I'll take responsibility this time, but don't do it again. You're free to leave. Oh wait, all right, so this time we are gonna blame the delinquents for us having a bloody uniform. I think this is how to get their weapons taken away from them. The delinquents did this to me. No, that can't be. <sighs> I'll have to take responsibility for this. I haven't told them to stop carrying weapons because I thought they were only doing it for show and weren't actually going to use them. Here we go. As I've said, I'll take responsibility for this incident, and I'll forbid the delinquents from carrying weapons on school grounds in the future. You're free to leave. Okay, let's see if she's true to her word. All right, guys, it's now Tuesday. I'm waiting for these losers to get close to me so I can see if they have weapons or not, and we can see if the guidance counselor was just bullshitting me the whole time, and she actually didn't take their weapons away. Let me see. Do they have weapons? They don't. They don't even have anything on their backs. So let me try fighting them. Let's see what happens. Huh? What's he gonna do? Fist fight me? He's not even fighting me. They're not Wait, fighting me. What? All right, so there you guys go. On to the last myth huh? of today's episode. All right, guys, this last myth isn't from anybody. I was actually thinking this the whole time, but I wanted to try it in this episode. So this is what we're gonna do. We are going to get a naifu. And then we are going to spawn a victim. And what I want to do, I want to clean up all the Ooh. evidence. Like, I'm not going to have any weapon on me. I'm not going to have any blood. I'm going to forgive my sins. So there you guys go. We're sparkly clean. We're going to drop this knife. And let me just forgive my sins one more time just in case. But what we're going to do, since there's a body right there, we are going to put the red paint on us. And then we are going to end the day. And let's see if we get caught by the police. Because we have a bloody uniform. So maybe the police are going to be like, bloody uniform, she did it. Or if we're just going to get away with it. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Midori. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. The police notice that Yandere-chan's clothing is bloody. They confirm that the blood is not hers. 
Yandere Chan is unable to convince the police that she did not commit murder. What the hell? Yandere Chan is arrested by police. She will never have senpai. But it's red paint. How are they gonna get me if it's just red paint? Can't they do like a blood test or something? Okay, so since I got caught by the police because they're obviously idiotas and they think that red paint equals blood, so I must have done it. Let's join the art club and then let's have red paint on us and let's see what happens. All right, so here we go. If you join the art club, you will not be considered suspicious when splattered with blood while you are wearing a painter's smock. Will you join the art club? Yes. Oh, nice. Thank you. He sounds so enthusiastic. Oh, nice. So I guess I could kill you. Oh, nice. And then we are going to forgive our sins. And then we're gonna put the red paint on us again. And I have a feeling that we're gonna get caught. Oh, nice. Let's see what happens. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get caught again because this red paint is a no bueno. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Miyuji Shan. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. The police notice that Yandere Chan's clothing is bloody. They confirm that the blood is not hers. Yandere Chan is unable to convince the police that she did not commit murder, but I had the painter smock on, and it was splattered with blood. Technically, it was splattered with red paint, but they still arrested me. That doesn't even make any sense. All right, guys, but that's gonna do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. I was gonna do, like, some spider girl demon summoning ritual stuff, but a lot of the ones that I saw were so whack. Like, I tried killing all the club leaders, and that obviously didn't work, and then I saw, like, dismember all the leaders, and then dismember the leader's family and then kill like a placeholder girl and say some magic words They were super corny like they were cornier than a farmer's shit I'm pretty sure that there isn't a way to summon the spider girl's powers yet I'm not saying that there's never a way I'm saying that there's not a way yet But if you guys enjoyed this episode of Yandere Simulator Myths and want more in the future Make sure you guys give this video one big fat like And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that DUDE